Double or nothing. Every single episode, we build the best team we can. And if we can get a win, we double our budget for the next episode. And today is 800,000 coins. Last episode was a scary one. It took me a while to get the dub, but we won't make any of those same mistakes today. Also, somebody poor shamed me last episode. They said that my sunglasses were $20 oh, on Amazon. Sticks. So I thought I'd remind you. A few moments later. Hey, yo, what the? I wipe my ass. I suck my own. I shit with these. Yeah! 800,000 coins to build one team. Last episode, I had a ton of drops. Two reasons for that. My wide receivers are budget wide receivers, so they don't have great catching stats. And two, I didn't run gift wrapped on my quarterback. I'll be honest, guys. I've never seen that many drops. I've never ran gift wrapped, and I've never seen that many drops. I think it was a combination of getting unlucky and also not running gift wrapped. So we're going to correct those mistakes today, and we're also going to rock Aaron Rodgers as our quarterback. So last episode, we spent a good 100k on Warren Moon. This Aaron Rodgers is a lot better in his price recently came down a ton. So Aaron Rodgers always gets a really good throwing animation. He's also a super good quarterback with really good accuracies. And just so I don't forget, I'm giving him gift wrapped. This gives you a higher chance to complete passes to uncovered targets. The fact that there even is an ability for that is hilarious. This is the NFL, whatever. And I'm going to run Gambit as an X factor. I don't really know if he's going to activate that, but in the second ability slot, I'm running protected. I love protected. Such a good ability. And that's three AP on Aaron Rodgers. We got the captain of this team, baby. There's a new team of the week running back who I really want to pick up. Travis Etienne, 87 overall, 88 speed, 90 excel. This is a nasty card. He's not exactly a budget card. You know, he's 100k almost. So we just spent a lot there on quarterback and halfback. A big chunk of our budget. But we don't got to spend too much on O-line, so let's knock that out next. Go Laramie Tunzel at left tackle. I'll rock Quentin Nelson at left guard. 84 Eric McCoy at center. Kevin Zeitler at right guard. And Ryan Ramchick at right tackle. So that's a full 84 over Overall offensive line, still really good. For wide receivers, I'm going to start with 85 Megatron. Had him last episode. Such a good card. And I want to run that back. I'm also going to grab Unstoppable's Allen Robinson. He's a very well-rounded card, kind of just like Megatron. He's 6'2". He's a big guy. I really don't want to drop passes today, please. So this Devin Duvernay dropped the easiest game-winning pass, which makes sense. His catching stats aren't great. He's just really, really fast. But he still has 85 catch. And I now have gift wrap. So I still think this Duvernay is one of the best budget cards in the game. Just run gift wrapped. We're a little past halfway. We still need two tight ends and a fullback. Tight end one, I'm actually gonna go with the base, Travis Kelsey. He's not that fast, but like I said, I'm really focused on catching the damn ball today. So I'm going with the more secure threat. If you want speed, you could go 86 Vernon Davis. He's really good. You could go with Albert O. And in this price range, Jimmy Graham and Tyler Higby are both pretty good too. They're just a lot more expensive since they're 87 overall. So I like Travis Kelsey here. And for my backup tight Tight end, I'm taking 83 overall, most feared Dawson Knox. He's actually fast. He's as fast as Vernon Davis, 84 speed. And he's pretty cheap because he's the most feared card. So we're going to pick him up for the backup tight end. Now I just need a fullback. And we're going to have 300,000 coins for defense. Keeping in mind that last week we spent 70K on defense. Like that was it. So we're going to have a monster, monster defensive upgrade today. At fullback, I'm taking 83 overall, Mike Allstott. It's probably an overpay. I could probably rock a super dirt cheap fullback, but I really like Allstott. He's a dog. The A-Train, baby. And beautiful. We built an 84 overall offense. Offensive line is all 84s. Tight ends are 86 Kelsey and 83 Dawson Knox. We got Allen Robinson, Megatron, and Devin Duvernay as our wide receiver core. And then our backfield is looking really, really good. That's where we spent a bulk of our coin here. Got 88 Aaron Rodgers with gift wrapped, protected, and gambit. Got Travis Etienne and Mike Allstott. I do want to put abilities on Travis Etienne. I don't know what he gets, but let's find out. He gets goal line back. I'll rock goal line back. That'll be fun. Stronger run blocking within five yards of the end zone. Hopefully, we'll be able to punch it in with Travis Etienne. And I have AP available. I'm just going to give him... I'll give him recuperation. Not sure how important that ability is, but I don't want to let any AP go to waste. Going to go with Freight Train, my favorite ability. And hopefully, we can have a good game. We should be able to run the ball with this offensive line. We obviously should be able to pass with Rodgers and all these receiving threats. So, I love offense. I'm excited, boys. That leaves us 307,000 coins to spend on defense and potentially special teams. Let's get to work.
Pop quiz, what is this ad read about to be? It's not headphones, it's not a VPN. I think you know though, it's the greatest mobile RPG of all time. It is Raid Shadow Legends. Raid is a free to play RPG with over 800 completely unique champions to collect. There are tons of awesome bosses to take on and insane items to gear out your champions. And to introduce you to Raid's insane champions, we're gonna play a little Kiss Mary Kill. First off is Allure and I am kissing her right on the lips for obvious reasons. I'm gonna marry Ursula the Mourner. This is my insane support champion. She's carried me through so many fights, I can't imagine my life without her. And I'm gonna kill Archbishop Pinthroy. He's just giving me a weird vibe, you know? He's just creeping me out. So right now, download Raid Shadow Legends using the links below, copy your in-game player ID, and then head over to raidyard.playerium.com from October 15th to November 10th. You'll have a chance to dig up some amazing in-game items and even some real-life prizes. You can get epic to legendary Halloween-themed champions, which are so good in this game, and Amazon gift cards up to a total value of $20,000. So with all of this exciting stuff and more coming to Raid, this is the absolute best time to play. Plus, if you use my link in the description box below or scan the QR code on screen, you will get insane bonuses. We're talking an epic champion Talia and tons of useful items. So make sure to hit that link in the top of the description and I'll see you on the battlefield. Enjoy the rest of the video. Some cards transcend all budgets and Tyson Anderson is one of them. I'm gonna need like 6 million coins to not buy this Tyson Anderson because generally I use two safeties anyway. Sometimes one's a user and sometimes one's a true safety. So I just love to have team of the week Tyson Anderson out there. 85 speed, 88 excel. He's got, his, his coverages aren't bad either. I think the only knock on Tyson Anderson is his hit power. He's not, uh, he's not Cam Chancer out there, but he is still a stud. For my other strong safety, I'm picking up 86 overall Troy Palomalu. He's literally good at everything. He's good at everything. Everything. He's fast. His coverages are great. He hits hard. He covers well in man coverage, too. Shockingly, the amount of times I've been man clamped by Troy Palomalu is crazy. Yeah, he's a stud. So, two amazing strong safeties there, and we really got it for the price of one because Tyson Anderson is so cheap. Free safety, I'm taking my dog, Paul Krause, man. This is a relatively unknown player, unless you're much older than me. But Paul Krause is like a Madden legend, man, because this guy is so nasty. Insanely high zone coverage for an 86 overall. Really high hit power, fast, strong acceleration. His man uh -huh. coverage is trash. But if you'll notice, you know, I've used Sean Taylor, who has 55 man coverage. He still plays well in man. But I love Paul Krause, so I gotta rock him at free safety. Campus Legends was forever ago, but they really granted us with some insane cards. 85 Adoree Jackson. Look at this card, man. He's got 81 zone, 87 man, and then absurd intangibles. 87 speed, 88 excel, 89 agility, 87 jump. He's short. He's 5'11". It's not the best, but that card is nasty. Now, until Caleb Farley performs poorly, he will be on this team. He was great last episode. This dude is 3,000 coins, and he's 6'2", 87 speed, 87 excel. His man and zone coverage suck, but he didn't let up shit last week. He was amazing. Until I am proven a reason why I can't use Caleb Farley, I'm gonna continue to use him. He's so good. Final player I'm getting is 84 overall Jalen Johnson from the Unstoppables promo. Six foot, 86 speed, and he has good coverages. And everything else is just average across the board. So this is a really good corner. Um, if you don't like any of the guys I just got, there's one more really good corner that I was looking at, and that is 84 Darrell Revis is really, really good too. Very average stats all across the board but then he's got 89 jump and really good speed. I like Jalen Johnson better, and I still think Caleb Farley is actually that, that good. We'll see. One of my all-time favorite budget cards in this entire game, ultimate kickoff, Trenton Simpson. 6'2", 85 speed, 80 change of direction. This guy was built to be a user middle linebacker. He's also good even if you're not using him, so I love Trenton Simpson. My backup middle linebacker is also from ultimate kickoff, Dion Henley. I think I've used him before too, definitely on pack and play, but he's just a fast overall solid middle linebacker for dirt cheap. I don't use my MLB2 that much, so no point in spending excessively here. So Cornelius Bennett recently got an AKA card, so he's pretty cheap right now. And this is a very nice outside linebacker. Super well-rounded, but he's very strong, and he's fast too. 6'3", really good size. I'm rocking Cornelius Bennett at left outside linebacker. At right outside linebacker, we're staying on theme. We're getting 
have Lawrence Taylor. This is pretty obvious, but whenever the promo drops, the players from that promo's prices drop. And AKA recently came out. So I'm getting really good value on like Cornelius Bennett, Lawrence Taylor. Whereas other promos, I'm overpaying a little bit. So that's a good buy right there. Obviously, Lawrence Taylor's insane. He hits hard as hell. He's huge. He's 6'3". He's fast. He can rush the quarterback. He can even play coverage. I've got 50K left to gear out my D-line. So it's going to be a relatively cheap D-line. I'll start with left end Chase Young. He's just a fast left end. At this price, I'm not going to get anybody that's flying at the quarterback. So I'm just going to take edge rushers with good speed and I'll take D tackles with good strength. At right end, I'm taking Casey Tuhill. This card is nasty, man. That's a really fast right end. 85 speed, 89 excel. And he's got decent finesse moves and block sheds. So he's truly a speed rusher. Cheap for how good that card is. That's cheap. And the 26,000 left, I'll take Derek Brown as my first D tackle. Just a well-rounded D tackle. He's obviously not very fast. I'm not spending big on D tackles until I have an absurd amount of coins. But I will say the good expensive D tackles are really good. I have gotten blown up by the high end D tackles before. Gilbert Brown. So this is the Grave Digger. Grave Digger's 89 or 90 overall card is so unbelievably good. And he has a really funny kit. Look at his acceleration. This is an insane budget D tackle. Not only does he have good block shed power moves, right? Great strength, but 88 excel and 74 speed. That's an insane D tackle. And here is the defense. Comparing this defense to the 400k defense is an absolute night and day difference. We spent 370,000 coins on this defense and 430,000 on offense. We're at 84 overall. And this is right at that sweet spot. I think 800k is where you got 800k coins. You've got a team that can compete. Dory Jackson, Kayla Farley, and Jalen Johnson at the corners. Our D-line has two budget studs in Casey Tuhill and Gilbert Brown. And then Derek Brown and Chase Young just to hang out. Troy Palomalu, such a good card. Paul Krause, such a good card. And 81 Tyson Anderson, probably the best budget beast in the game. If it's not him, it's probably Raheem Mostert. 81 Raheem Mostert's insane too. Cornelius Bennett, 83 left outside linebacker. And Lawrence Taylor, not sure how they're going to play. Excited to see it. I know Trenton Simpson's amazing. And I've used Henley too. I'm so excited to use Rodgers. ETN. Got a similar wide receiver court to last episode. New tight end, new offensive line. Definitely a different backfield. This is going to be a fun one, boys. All right, y'all. I got to get some abilities on these guys. Finish out my specialists and we'll be ready to play. Cooper Cup, Eric Berry, Famous Jameis. Rodgers, ETN, Kelsey. Let's get it done, boys. Let's make this one easy today. Kicking this game off. Oh my God, what abilities does he have out here? Oh, nothing, nothing crazy. He's got a good budget team, which is what I have. So this should be an even matchup. I'm happy about that. Gonna start out with single back counter. You're actually fucking kidding me, right? I mean, that's just dead set feet. Aaron Rodgers, 88 overall. Gift wrapped and all. I'm gonna chuck to the middle. I think we can make that throw. ETN's gonna get shifty. Let's do a settle down play. Let's run a stretch. Oh God, what a nice user play. He cooked. Just gonna check this down, make this a more manageable fourth down because I'm going for it. Fourth and 12. What's my perfect play here? Yeah, if this is, I can hit Allen Robinson here. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. Fourth and 12. All right, Rogers, you redeemed yourself. I'm happy, man. Let me go whip route Kelsey here. It's a beauty. Big stiff arm? Ooh, just broke it. Now I go, I go A-Rob, same thing, other side. Oh my gosh, look at that. Look at that, Allen Robinson. Keep up the no-huddle. They can't stop it right now. Looking at Etienne out the backfield, looking at Duvernay down the sh little cock shot, Duvernay. Uh, this is, this is big money. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, this guy loves the cut stick. I wonder if today we'll actually pull off some successful hurdles. That'd be fun. Yo, we're fatigued though. We're tired. Yeah, I guess I did run no huddle the entire time, huh? Oh no. Block the D tackle. We had that. I'm onside kicking. Why not, boys? Why not, boys? Why not? Danny Carlson. All right. That's why not. Oh, we didn't get there? Heaves one to the corner. Nice play. I think this is going to be a run up the middle. I'm going to run commit. Oh my God, I'm in trouble. Oh my God! The one spot you couldn't throw! Paul Cross on the run commit! Oh my God, he's fucking livid. I would be so... So mad. Oh, gross. It was about to be seven to seven. And we come up with that? Wow. Yeah, you stopped the first one. I'm not saying you didn't stop the first one. All I'm saying is you won't stop the second one. That's all I'm saying. I come on. That was it. Corner out is so open. Damn, he's hitting a lot of open shit right now. Good lord, dude. I'm getting cooked. Zone got cooked. Man got cooked. All by that same thing. Good thing we got that pick six, man. Might be the difference maker in this game. 
I'm gonna slowly methodically move this ball down the field. Second and five. Let's take that to the to the second quarter. Second and five. The boy out the backfield. Wait a minute. Why are you so why do you have so much room? Look at this Duvernay route. The hitch. Tell me why I've actually been using hitches recently. They've been really effective. Never a route I thought I would incorporate in my game. I certainly love the whip route still, though. Nothing wrong with that. And for 11, 112 yards and a touchdown. A great game for Rodgers. Rodgers throws a mallard first play of the game, and ever since then he's been awesome. I'm not gonna complain. Dude, a hitch! A hitch again! I can't believe I'm running this. It's so effective. Third and four. He shifted the wrong way i'm gonna run this he like oh do we get there we do dude he shifted his line left that was so bizarre off the loaded side we are milking the fuck out of this clock etn etn Ooh, right over the middle the dig the dig to megatron first and goal we are knocking on the door here now we just punch this puppy in here we go duvernay hitch you ready for the duvernay hitch it's not oh no oh yes yeah, that should have been intercepted. Ooh, yep, that should have been intercepted. 90 times out of 9,000, that should be intercepted. Um, Yeah, but you know what? I'll just do it again. <gasps> and he caught it! Duvernay last week. Oh my God, that guy couldn't catch COVID in the Wuhan lab. Duvernay right here. Just fucking prime Jerry Rice. Nickel two, four quarters. So I got Tyson Anderson, Trenton Simpson. Yeah, we're good. I mean, he's just been rifling so many different passes here. He could get out of bounds if he wants. I'll take the middle. Where the fuck are you throwing, buddy? Right to the boy Tyson Anderson? He was really playing a good game, too. And, and dude, what determined that whole game was run committing and still lurking with Paul Krause. It's hard to come back from that mentally. Hey, the 800K squad. They played really, really well. This whole team played really, really well. Didn't get to see too many MVP moments, but Robinson caught a ton of passes. Megatron had a huge dig. Duvernay was clutch. He had some touchdowns and two point conversions. ETN was awesome. Rodgers missed a throw, and after that was money. And then defensively, Paul Krause with probably the biggest play of the game, no question. Didn't get to see much from Palomalu. Didn't get to see much from anybody else, really, defensively. But an awesome game. All right, y'all. 800K squad gets a double. Um, that means on the very next episode, 1.6 million coins to build our team. I can't wait for that. I love you guys. Thanks for watching. As always, I'll see you then. Peace.